Hey guys, in this tutorial we will populate data using take a python package instead of creating posts manually from the shell or the admin panel for the testing purpose. Faker is a python package that generates fake data for us. To use faker python package we need to install faker first. So open up the terminal and write pip install faker. We are already we have already activated the virtual environment. Just write pip install faker. It is now downloading and unpacking the faker for us, installing the collected packages. So now open up the python shell using python manage.py shell and import the faker as to verify if it is successfully installed and running. From faker import faker. It is up and running. Now we have to create and initialize a faker generator which can generate data by accessing properties named after the types of data we need. So just write fake equals faker. We are now generating the faker object. We can now able to use various attributes and methods of this fake object using we can use fake dot name which gives Timothy Williams and we can use fake address as well using address function. We can use text as well using text fake text. See there are if you look at the Django document uh, faker documentation, excuse me. Uh, you will have you will see various methods available there. You can choose according to your need. We can also be able to use for loop to generate some names like so. Just print fake dot name see it is giving the 10 random names which are different we will now implement this faker package to create multiple posts at one shot we will create a script which will use this package so create a python file return to the item text editor inside the my site directory we will create a new file and name it populate underscore script dot py Inside this py file, we need to import the OS and Django first. It's comma. We need this because you have to tell which settings you are using. We can do that by using by setting the environment variable, which is Django settings module. We can do this by using OS dot environment, which will set the environment Django setting environment by running the script using environment environment dot set default method and inside that first parameter it will take is a django settings module will provide django underscore settings underscore module then the second parameter we need to specify the project settings which is under the my site dot settings which is in this my site dot settings dot p file which is this file and we need to set up the Django for this using Django.setup method. Now we need to import the faker using from faker import faker. Then the post model we need to import from blog dot models import post. Then the user class itself by for author for defining the author for from Django dot contrib dot auth dot models import user and we will also import the time zone from the Django dot utils import Jank import time zone <coughs> see from here first we will create some users and then we will continue to create post so open up the shell that we have already opened and clear the screen just import the user copy and paste it from here instead of writing again and again it in the web go to the web browser if you have a look at the Django authentication system or using the Django authentication system 
uh, you the user this object describes here as the user objects are the core of the authentication system they typically represent the people interacting with your site and are used to enable things like restricting access registering user profiles associating contents give permissions if the user is a super user or a staff you can change the staff as well the primary attributes of the default user are the username password email first name and the last name so let's talk about some creating users we need to create users to create the post to assign the author so the most direct way to create users is to use the included create underscore user helper function yes if you can look at the example here from the Django documentation itself we will use the query set which is user dot object dot create underscore user then the username then the email then the password and assign it to the user variable then we use this user variable to assign the last name or first name or we can use be able to set the first name or last name after that we need to call the same method to store the changes in the database so let's use this concept for creating users from the shell so we'll assign variable user and we'll get write the query set as object user dot object short create underscore user which is a helper function from the Django documentation to create users and we'll say username here as say John first then the email of the John should be it is email otherwise it will give error uh, John at the rate gmail.com will give the fake name and the password will be the fake password as password at the rate one two three is equals to inside the double inverted commas or single inverted commas so user has been created by the name John if we see look at the admin panel and click on the user so can user we now have Abhishek we now have John its email address and the sta sta staff status is not uh, it is not a staff we can now, now use first name and last name or set the first name last name by using first underscore name is equals to my John the same we have used for username and the user dot last name as which is underscore Wick. we need to call the save method here user dot save otherwise the it will not show in the admin panel the changes will not affect see now John Wick is now in the first name and last name here we can also create users from admin panel as we'll write the name Ankit and give the password confirm the password save and continue it will now prompt for other personal information and permissions to take effect and give the first name and last name and email address as onkit.gmail.com uh, save it we will create one more user from the admin panel as well um, we will say Jose and the password is same for all save it jose at the rate gmail .com. save it so now we have four users created so we can also create user from admin panel as we have created now get back to the populate underscore script dot py which are left blank and we need to define a fun function for creating the post here create underscore post and we will pass the argument uh, number for number of posts to be created we need to initialize the faker generator by using this we will use for loop loop through the n post using this and pass the argument n and then we'll first dis uh, describe uh, get the id using the randomly and we need to import the random method here 
and in the random function we have rand in we'll, we are using id because to get the users or author name so we'll see it in a moment so we'll use four we have only four users cases so we'll use one to four randomly it will choose the id of the or the author name then we'll use title of this should be the fake dot name then we have status we will also choose it randomly using random choice function random dot choice from and it will it takes the list as an argument and we will provide publish if the status should be published or drafted we will have to specify here now we we'll need to create the post now using post dot objects dot create first is title which is the fake uh, which is title itself plus post we will attach we are using the title of the title as a fake name then we will use author to assign author we will have uh, we'll use user dot objects dot get will now use id is equals to id here which is takes a randomly like id is equals to one or two or three it assigns the author randomly for the random post then we will you need to use slug when uh, to we will join it via the hyphen dot join uh, we will use the title and lower it On in the small capital uh, small letters and uh, we have to split use a split function here first we will split the title uh, and then join it with hyphen which makes the slug pretty low pretty good then we will use body and in the body we will use fake dot text simple and for created we use the time zone parameter time zone module as time zone dot now and for updated as well we'll use time zone dot now need to create post we'll assign for 10 we'll first create 10 posts here and uh, print the line if, so that we can know if the script has been successfully ran the, our data is populated successfully is populated successfully so this is it guys check if uh, anything else remaining we have we are getting post dot object dot create title post or user dot object get it. so run the script now from the shell from the terminal excuse me just write python populate script dot py it should not give any error uh, it is giving an error that global name random is not defined. I have mistakenly used uh, random misspell the random function here. Uh, let's run it again. So data is populated successfully. If we return to the browser and or in the admin panel, and if we look at the post, uh, we have now multiple posts here. Excuse me. Uh, the status we have forgot to use there uh, the status is equals to status otherwise it will work so don't worry guys so also we can be able to see it in the web page also just open up the domain see our posts are now showing in the web page but they are looking very ugly so it uh, this is it guys in this next video lecture we will use make use of bootstrap to make our blog look good so guys if you like my videos please do subscribe my channel or like the videos and share my videos so this is it guys bye bye